Welcome back everybody to Pole Barn Garage where we are about to drive Farm Truck 2.0 Swanee, the occasional farm truck. About 1100 miles to Wisconsin and back. Maybe. We got a little detour to make. We're going to stop by Kevin and Mooks in Iowa and that's going to be our waypoint to decide if we want to continue on or ride up with them for snowmobile stuff. Speaking of which, we need to put a snowmobile in the bed of this thing, as well as the plow mount that we pulled off the step side. I've pretty much got this thing all loaded up, except for I gotta get this plow mount up to Kevin. He wants that back. We're pretty much packed full. I still gotta put my clothes in here. We should probably also verify that the snowmobile runs. Still, you know, it is a snowmobile, so. Oh my goodness, stunt! Also, it's really windy, and it's gonna be below freezing tomorrow and it's raining off and on all day so let's try to get this thing loaded uh, here's our snowmobile our hog for this event a 80 Yamaha enticer that we fixed up on the channel a while back if you missed that video go watch it after you're done watching this one it's pretty good now I need some gas to toss in it I suppose I got a little bit somebody suggested I use the uh, actual snowmobile two cycle oil because it's a little thinner and that might help with how thick this thing seemed to be running I, mean, I don't even know how this stuff works. I don't know anything about snow. Why would I need a snowmobile? I suppose we ought to make sure the thing still runs, huh? <laughs> if I can't drag it out of here. I'm not sure how to put it in the truck. Um, I don't suppose you'll stay there, will you? No, you probably fall off and break my legs. It's alright. And it's one unit ready to go. It's early in the morning. The next day, see if we can get the truck fired up and start going northbound and up. Ah, we're off to a great start. I'm sure this will not continue to be a problem. The choke is wide open. It doesn't work at all. I got a feeling it's going to be one of those days. I got a late start, but that might actually work out in my favor later. First leg is Kevin and Mooks. It's about four hours away. And then about five and a half hours past there is the uh, the lake where we're doing snowmobile. You know, getting that extra hour of sleep actually might pay off later on. We'll see. I think I got everything. I hate it. I'm an overpacker from hell. I always break way too much, but whatever. You know, ever since I got the tires balanced on this thing, it actually vibrates worse than it did before. Anything over 70, and it's kind of brr, brr, brr. It's done that ever since I put the new tires on. Didn't do that with the old tires. It was smooth as silk. Possible that the Chicken Lao Main brand white letter tires I got maybe aren't the most round of tires. We cut that one pretty close, uh, to say the least. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Probably shouldn't have trusted that gauge so much. Gas, 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 gas. Well, this is going to be painful. I'm glad to see it's windy outside because I was kind of worried that the truck was pulling, but it's just the wind. 
Looks like we're leaking a little out of the overflow. Don't really see anything too concerning. Well, it looks like we used a little bit. We throw a splash in it. Okay, we went about 120 miles. Uh, that's pretty bad, I think. That's like eight miles to the gallon. So yeah, that's great. It's so cold that the oil won't go down by funnel. This sucks. I hate it up north. Why am I doing this? I've procured sustenance in the form of a questionable gas station burrito. And let's see if it'll fire up again. All right, I'll take that. Now we're out. Got nothing to report. Probably have to get gas one more time before we actually get there. So far, so good. It's starting to get a little flurries and stuff like that. I know there's some bad weather up north. So it might be a little interesting whenever we decide to head up that way. gas again. See how painful it is yet again. Check the oil. I guess I ought to feel those hubs, huh? I can't feel much, but they'd probably make the whole wheel pretty warm if they were bad. I lost my rag. It blew out of here. Uh-oh. Litter bug. I burned a whole quart that time. Uh-oh. Well, that was a little better this time. You know, I've been running 91 in it. It's running a lot better. I'm wondering if those oval port heads this thing has of high compression. It might be a 10 to 1 motor. Ah. She's good as long as she's warm. Anyway, we've got about 40 minutes left. Let's hit it. One of Kevin's mini sleds. A Raider rear engine snowmobile. God, it's Kevin again. <laughs> Aren't you that YouTube guy? No. Oh. Hey man, you're famous. Oh, look, <laughs> yeah. it's Ike. I think he's a YouTube guy. I don't think. I, I don't know. No. This town's um, full of This is your guys' um, sled. Correct? Yeah. I'm not claiming it. Scorpion. Scorpion. Hey, when we showed up, you were like, I want the blue one. <laughs> I love this. It thing. is yeah. freaking cool. It's the paint job on it. No, oh, it's it's got the best hood of them all. Oh, no doubt. Just, I think they've got the full experience of stone mills are hell. Yeah. Seven levels of it. We'll probably be out of here by three. We still gotta load up all of the snowmobiles and unload a car and then we'll get on the road. It's a good thing we went through the lights on this thing. We'll be driving at night. Might have one or two on there. Kevin, Phoenix, Ike, and John, and me. And one of these things is not like the others. Well, we use 6.7 gallons. I don't know if that's good, bad. In between, the gas nozzle's frozen. Oh, well. Oh, I meant to fill that up. Well, we'll have more chances. Following Phoenix. Kevin's in front of them. We got walkies. Mostly to make sure that I'm, you know, alive. You know, I, I decided to drive this. Not that I really have many other options. I, I don't... Now we've gone maybe an hour and a half. Just now below half the tank of gas. Pretty much hanging right in with the diesel trucks, actually. But, uh, which is good, considering the little 20 gallon tank this guy has. It's really cold in here. There's no door seal over here. And it is just freezing me on my left side, because there's a hell of a wind out of the northwest. Time to gas up in Minnesota. I'm right in there with everybody else. But it's still here. Is that what temperature it is? Yeah. It's six? Yeah. Holy crazy. Yeah, it's All about right. 20 in this. All right, well, uh, inside? Yeah. yeah I'm glad I'm six a... degrees Look. Fahrenheit. Dude, Heated so... seats. Hey, hey suck my <laughs> 15.7 gallons. That's not good. All right, we're in Wisconsin now. Little trucks hanging in there. I think it's warmer here than it was just a little further south. Ooh. Oh, it's just my funnel that dumped over. No big deal. Right, let's check the uh, oil again, because that's all this trip is so far. Another 12 gallons away. <laughs> oh, we're burning lots of dinosaurs today. Yeah, it's 
Phoenix is right behind me. Yeah, sorry. Phoenix is, is right behind BBC. I don't know how much of this will come through, but it's been about 40 miles of just solid ice and snow. And, uh, old Swanee, the occasional farm truck here, she's uh, that full time four wheel drive is just badass, let me tell you. The weekend consisted of snowmobile races, a circle track race, a drag race, ice racing with cars, and an endurance test of the snowmobiles. If you want to see more on that, go check that video out on Junkyard Digs channel. You can also see John and Ike's complete failure of their snowmobile on their channel, Cars and Cameras. Ice racing. That's what we're doing today. Hiding in them. Good times. And, uh... Well, that's a mobile beer cooler. Yeah, let's show this yeah. thing off. Pop open the cooler, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, I got burned by my own trick. You didn't see that. All right. I'm going to steal one. Here, right take here, that one right there. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Angus is in the blue truck. A little the f***ing Ford Ranger. Man, Angus. It's been a couple days since I checked in, and that's because we've been doing snowmobile stuff. I didn't want to, you know, spoil this. Well, I'll be heading back in the truck tomorrow. Today is for fun. Oh! He's speaking my language. <laughs> Cars and cameras, John in the neon. John Yon. Are you videoing? Yeah. Oh. This is the queen. Hello, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hang out with royalty. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just kind of what you do. Yeah, yeah. we're just cool like that. Yeah. Hey, is it that YouTube guy? Hey, hey, you, is that, YouTube, you were that guy. YouTube guy? Are you the YouTube guy? The YouTube guy. No, he's like, the YouTube guy. You're that guy with the 300. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's the guy with the 300. It's Am his. I the YouTube? Are you the pole barn? <laughs> Are you the I'm pole just barn? The pole. You're just the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man. Oh, he winked. This is uh, Ezra's dad. John John. <laughs> Did you know that Dalton's name isn't Dalton? It's John. He's a liar. My name's John. Hello, John. It's a good English John, name. Don, Royalty. John, Don. John, Don, Dalton. Oh no. <laughs> hey, you like that water car there, John? It's incredible how how much a car can hook on the snow. Yeah. Uh, it didn't hook on the ice, but it's, 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 it was fast. You really well. were way out there. Oh yeah. No, you can tell way out there. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Three days later, it's time to go. Everything's frozen. We're leaving in the middle of an ice storm. So that's good. Old Swanee is over here. I haven't started it in three days. Oh, I'm sure it'll fire right up. It's a little warmer today than it was yesterday. So we might have an advantage. I did spray down the windows with de-icer, which clearly de-iced them, you know, Quite well. Let's see if we can get it fired up. Or see if we have to have someone hold that choke shut. Let me guess the ladder. But let's find out. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. I'm cranking that hog. Holy crap! Amazing! Old beater, hopefully she'll get me back south. The good thing is this time, at least it gets warmer as we go south. And today's really not supposed to be a bad day, it's just ice. 
Kevin in there somewhere. Oh, oh there. holy <laughs> crap! I thought that was the glass. Oh Damn. shit, it was. Are we strapped down, boys? We're strapped down. And we're strapped on. Good. We're ready to go. I like a man who's prepared than this. You know, it looks good when it's wet. Very nice. Yeah, yes. Very nice. And we're off. We got another, uh, well, 600 miles or so to get this baby home. Because I had to stop by uh, Kevin's. We are, we are on the move. So. Don't miss this place. It's actually super pretty and nice. As long as the old truck makes it, I'll be happy. stop on the way back. It's doing a lot better on fuel actually. We went at least another 50 miles on the same amount. Check oil. And we're burning less oil too. I think I've got just a little bit I can throw in here and we'll be good. It's all downhill out of Minneapolis so we should be doing a lot better. We went ahead and installed some upgrades. You know, make things a little more pleasant in here after not having running water for four days. of a uh, vibration. I don't know what's going on here. It's definitely dry flying. I can see the transfer case shifter is just shaking away. That's why I have the bags shoved around it. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's still moving. It's still running. I'm trying to make it to Kevin's place. And maybe I'll look at it or maybe I'll just continue ignoring it. So here's what we got going on, right? We got a surging issue. If I get on it, now we'll do it, of course. There it goes. See the trucks lurching and jerking if I try to get on it. So I'm hoping fuel filter. We're gonna pop that off in the shop at Kevin's and see what that does. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and throw a fuel filter on it just for grins. It's starving for fuel, so maybe it's the hard 90 degree angle this makes going directly into the car. Almost guarantee that's what it is, actually. The filter on it just for grins, but that freaking pipe is flat. Let me just pop this bad boy off of here. And hopefully a bunch of crap falls out. Welcome to BBC Channel. BBC News. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find? Uh, it's got lots of pressure on it. Lots of pressure on the Very DVC. Much. <laughs> Look at A little warm. <laughs> little warm. Oh, oh God. God. Whoa. I think it's the needle and seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough pressure in there to be vapor locked. For sure. It could be that weird, stupid thumb thimble filter there, yes. too. Maybe it's still in there. Maybe it's still in there. Well, I haven't looked at it. What, you think I actually did anything to this? No, not even a little. Well, I do why mind. would you assume I assumed that? I, well, Come on. <laughs> you should know that. I've watched at least one of your videos. <laughs> I do my trucks like my snowmobiles, you know, just wing it. Recover the seat. Recover the seat. Tap. Tap it out. There's some poop in there. There's a little bit, but not that bad. We definitely had more poop. Yeah. Let's see if that stupid fuel filter is in there. Granted, there's no fuel in this thing. Oh! That's not good. That might be why mm. the BBC's choking out a little bit, you know? <laughs> Double ranching. Ah, here. Goes to Wisconsin, hangs out with northerners all weekend, starts quoting Borat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. Instead of saying, oh, look at that there. Oh, yeah. Got Don't some, you know? Got some water in it. Oh. Nope, not that. Not Instead. A, I know. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. We're dumb. Very dumb. Hey, it is in there. And it's pretty nasty. That is bad. We could just leave that out of there. <laughs> okay. Fixed. Fixed. Wait, do I, should I take the spring out? No, the spring helps flow. Because it's boingy? <laughs> is that a technical term? Yeah, you it's wouldn't turbulent. understand. It's <laughs> turbulent. It's the fuel spinning. It's been a long weekend. Good one, though. That was just a weekend? I felt like a month. <laughs> well, it was like four days. I, guess. I feel like I was a resident of Wisconsin. <laughs> we became Wisconsin. 
<laughs> Dude, this thing is nasty. That's terrible. That's probably been in there for a long time. Numbers matching. I hope Not these, anymore. Oh, dude. Put it on backwards or you'll fill the tank with engine. <laughs> oh, man. I hate it when that happens. This is an Amazon fuel filter that I got like six of for like $9. This is a nap of gold, so you should probably keep this one. You should probably keep that one around. For like, you know, when you blow up right over there. You mean when this plastic fuel filter melts, yeah, covers like, the BBC in gasoline, and ignites it? <laughs> How has it got such terrible fuel mileage without any fuel? I'll uh, probably throw a zip tie. Yeah, now you need another zip tie to hold this hose near that hose, but away from this hose. <laughs> and I like cut it here and brought it this way. Well, that would make a lot more sense. There's still time. We could do that. Kevin's chopping down that fitting there, so we got a straight shot at it. We're just going to go ahead and move the whole fuel line out here. And just give it a little better shot so everything's straight. Flows a little better. I don't know, it runs better. I'm going to precisely measure this out. Yep, right there. The Chompy 3000s. Those are nice. Dude, Chompy 3000s is a good thing to have. I better not put my finger in there. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggling. And okay, sure. I didn't notice the mismatched valve covers until just now. That's because it was leaking. I did that right before it came up. Might say it's a zip time moment. I think this is all copyright. Oh, crap. I mean, it is literally my farm truck that I said, let's drive it to Wisconsin because I'm not that smart. Because <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I'll just zip tie the uh, fuel line to the battery. Keep okay, bar right here. That way it all goes at once. You got the trifecta, electricity, heat, and, and gas fuel. <laughs> Before. Oh no, never mind, it went away. Was you know what? I've heard some noise in the front of the motor. Maybe it's been the pump. I've never heard that before. That was weird. I have heard a, a Chevy fuel pump make clatter noises. It sounded like it came right there, right when it and once it filled up, like returning or hit the bypass. No bubbles in it. Nice and clean. Can't be too bad, but it must be good. Good enough. I'm sure it'll make it pump. It's only three and a half hours left. Well, whatever. We're past the halfway point. Thanks for having me for the weekend. Absolutely. It was awesome. This is yours now, so enjoy. Oh, hey, there's a drive shaft under here. I, oh. I, not that I was like worried or anything. You know what? I am glad I didn't have you tow a trailer with this. Yeah. After all, did I just put my foot against the bumper to like, brace myself? <laughs> and it went, wink. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's fine. So this is yours now because I have no use for it and it's a good snowmobile. It was probably the best snowmobile. And that's yours now. I don't know what it came out of and I don't know if it works, but it's in your truck, so goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that in the 70 Mustang uh, someday. Well, I don't know if that actually did anything. But I'm heading home now. I got four hours to go. I mean, it is running better. It's still not running right, though. It started heading south to Kansas City. I'll probably be rolling in about 10 o'clock at night, which is just fine. I took a day off tomorrow. I didn't want to, but I needed a day. at that Casey's where we uh, filled up the first time on our journey. We got decent mileage. I ran it a little, uh, little ragged there, but we were doing almost 80 miles an hour that whole time, actually. She seems to be running a lot better. I suppose we'll pop the hood. I think a bird exploded on the windshield. Well, it's not on fire, so that's a plus. Let's see how much oil we burned again. It looks like we got to add about a quart. We got her self-oiling right now. I'm feeling pretty good about it. She's humming right along. We've been hauling ass to about 80 miles an hour, so... That thing's got to be screaming every bit of 4,500 RPM. All right, here we go again. Should be our last leg, I'm hoping. I suppose we'll see. She fired right up, and it sounds fine. I'm 
fill up before I go home, I guess. It's been a rough uh, couple of days, but we made it. The truck's fine. So, anyway. What is going on? I'm just trying to get some tacos. And I think we just lost a lifter. <laughs> I'm literally five minutes from my house. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get my tacos. Well, we made it home. I don't know what the noise is, or was, actually. It went away. I've seen these fuel pumps actually make like lifter noise. Sounds like lifter noise. Uh, I think that would be worth checking out. Look at that fuel filter. It's barely pumping fuel. Yeah, we got we need to put a fuel pump on it. Anyway guys, we made it back. It's over eleven hundred miles in this nineteen seventy eight Chevy K twenty with a four fifty four in it that I've uh, largely untested, right? It goes to show, get your old stuff out there and drive it and use it as it's intended. It's not a classic, it's not a trailer queen. It's a damn truck. And it did exactly what it was made to do, which is pound down the highway, hauling stuff in the bed of it, and doing truck things through the snow, through the ice and the rain, whatever you throw at it, it doesn't matter, it's an old pickup. And they just know how to do things a little different, you know what I mean? We'll see you guys next time on Pole Barn Garage. I don't know how this video turned out, because the damn thing's just too reliable. Maybe I could have made it blow up for content, but that's not what I do here. Anyway, see you guys next time. We'll be working on the step side. I'm going to bed.